So we are now here in the coaches' room with uh, head coach Craig Millage and, and Raleigh 17. First, Coach Millage, obviously your first 1,000-point scorer that you have uh, coached. You've had her for three years. Kind of talk about how the three years have been that you've had with Raleigh. Obviously, you've had her from way before, probably since yeah, she was born. Years. Probably since she was born. But just kind of talk about your relationship with Riley and, and how the last three years have gone with coaching her. Uh, <laughs> that's a loaded question. Um, it's just, it's not a coincidence. Um, if people knew how much time she put into this craft and what she does, um, they wouldn't be surprised by what happened tonight or what's happened over the course of the last four years. I mean, she's gifted for a reason. Um, it, since she was four or five years old, she's lived in a gym. And, you know, you preach to kids at a young age all the time that if you put your time in, it pays off. And it, it's just nice to see it pay dividends, you know, as a senior in high school. And she, she's just, she's incredibly gifted because she's put the time in. Um, the last three years in high school, I think what's most impressive about this, this thousand points is that she's done it incredibly unselfishly. Even tonight, um, you know, early on in the first half, she wasn't looking for her own point. I mean, the, the night she was supposed to score a thousand points, and she did, she was looking for her teammates the entire first three quarters until she finally decided, okay, I'll get a couple of basket baskets myself in the, in the fourth. Um, and that's just a testament to her. Um, she creates plays just as well as she scores herself. Uh, and honestly, it's just sometimes you just sit back and watch and you just appreciate what you're watching because it's a beautiful thing. Uh, and it's something that I'm going to miss immensely uh, when she's gone in a week. So, Riley, uh, we talked earlier. I'll, I'll ask you a similar question. A weird year for you with COVID, the end of last year and this year with, with you being the type of field hockey player that you are. I didn't really get the full season there. Mm -hmm. You come into to basketball season. It's not your normal season. Now you add the ankle injury to it that you've had. Just kind of talk about uh, how that's been and, and how, how have you fought through it. Truthfully, this year sucked. I mean, I'm just grateful this lane to get out there with my teammates. I mean, I think we've had a pretty good run. We came in season ranked number eight in our conference, and we've lost, what, two games? Yeah. And, I mean, it's not even about winning at this point. I just love all my teammates, and I'm going to miss them all next year. So we're not trying to make you cry or anything. But yeah. Also... <laughs> special moment to have your family be able to be here to watch yeah. this game as well and I think I heard your brother crying my brother has never shown any emotion towards me so that was <laughs> groundbreaking but best part of the night for sure shout, Absolutely. shout out to Avery and, and Avery yeah. too Avery was going to be here on Saturday if yeah. you didn't get it and the rumor was that she was trying to have uh, Cheryl go tell uh, you to go take her out so she didn't get it so, <laughs> that so that's what it was so Raleigh 70 with her, with her, with her thousand points and, and congratulations to her and uh, have a good night